friends welcome back to my channel as you can see today we are out again and this is a evening time around 5 uh, and we are planning to go to the Bendigo nightlife festival they have around 15 constructions of uh, lights which we are going to view and this festival starts on uh, around 26th of June till the 17th of July which is basically the school holidays time so without any delays, let's start the journey now. The Bendigo's Night Light Festival is named Awaken, which occurs in the Rosalind Park located centrally in Bendigo. The beautiful Rosalind Park transforms with a series of vibrant installations that engage and immerse visitors in an unforgettable sensory experience for this few days. After parking our cars on the nearby streets, we started walking towards the entrance gates. There is a pretty big queue at the entrance as there is only one gate for entry. Due to COVID this year, there is a ticket system to limit the number of visitors. The event is a free event and I had pre-booked the tickets to their website. Certainly enjoy talking to you. Good. Wake up. It's time for our welcome speech. Okay. Whose turn is it to start? You or me? It's your turn, but I'll do it so you have time to wake up. Hello. We are the guardians of Roslyn Park. We welcome you to our beautiful home. Roslyn Park is set out in a very formal way, which is just humans' perceptions of things. We trees send our roots down into the earth and feel the ancient past of this country touching on our roots. We understand the passing of time and the movement Bendigo Run surrounds us, situated on the remnants of goldfields where, in recent times, humans changed the landscape and pulled earth out from under the ground and spread it around. The earth has holes in it where mines were dug, and the displaced soil is like the essence of the earth. It's now on top rather than under the ground where it belongs. In the deep past, the earth here buckled and pushed its way and created the thought that remained. A vast piece of ground pushed into a more compact space that still moves and grows at times. From this changed environment, you now see us, the trees of Roslyn Park, chosen from our place of origin, far away to please the settlers' eyes. Settled amongst us saw the blossoms, the bats, the birds and insects of the original country that like the Aboriginal people of the area have adapted and changed to survive this new place. A lot of illusions are created with the fog. 
It looks beautiful. Nikki, how to make your first pizza? I Each installation light captures Bendigo's story of the city and its rich history through a radiant display of light, color and sound in a spectacular fashion. At Roslyn Park Piazza, you'll find an illuminated acknowledgement of country, a beacon of light that represents the traditional custodians of the land. Continuing into the park, you'll find illuminated representation of all things Bendigo including its horticulture heritage, Chinese heritage, vibrant art history, famous tulips and even a river of gold. At each 13 key stops, you can read about the magnificent light displays and the story behind how they relate to Bendigo. After the light festival, now we are here at the Indian restaurant. We'll have our dinner here. The light show was pretty good. We had lots of fun, but I think the number was quite little. Uh, was expecting a bit more. Other than that, everything was pretty good.